Hello everyone. Happy Christmas. Oh, I heard a noise from downstairs and the dogs didn't bark. I think someone's been down there. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm filming this just in case this is going to be my last ever video on YouTube because I don't know what I'm going to find. I really need something to arm myself but there's nothing to hand. I've... Oh dear. I'm just going to go for it. Oh dear me. <laughs> it all looks so, it looks fine so far. I'll turn the camera around. Let's have a look. <gasps> What's that? Somebody has been in. Somebody's left some muddy footprints. <sighs> oh, is he? Oh, I don't know whether to go down. It is Christmas Day. Surely not. Santa wouldn't do that to me. He would wipe his feet, wouldn't he? Well, he would... He would hover. He's had to come in through the front door, whoever it is, because I don't have a chimney. What a mess! <gasps> Santa's been! Santa's... Oh, it's... It's alright! It's Santa! Oh, look, he's dropped his hat and glasses! Oh, but he's made a right mess! But look what he's brought me! Because they weren't there when I went to bed. I put these out. These are these are from my Amazon wish list that some kind viewers have bought me. So I was going to open those today. But I never thought that Santa would bring me something else. Oh, right. I'm going to have to calm down. I'm a bit relieved. And also a little bit annoyed by Santa leaving muddy footprints. But anyway, I'll forgive him. He's given me all these presents. Santa's left me a card, look. Dear Ibasiac, Ibasiac, or however you pronounce it these days. So sorry about the mess, but hopefully I've left you at least one thing that will help you clean up. <sighs> oh, I'll forgive you, Santa. Oh, P.S. Please say hello to Stephen Ritchie, who I forgot to mention when I visited you a few days ago. Oh, well, that's nice he remembered in the end. So, um, I'll say hello. Hello, Stephen. Did you get a vacuum for Christmas? I hope you did, you lucky boy. Well, I'm hoping that at least one of these parcels might be a vacuum from Santa. But I can't unbox them with all this mess at my feet. So I'll vacuum that up first and I'll see what Santa and my other friends have brought me. Right, that's all that cleaned up. Thanks to my new Vax Slim Vac. You'll be seeing that very early in the new year. I'll be doing an unboxing and a proper demo, but it's made light work of Santa's footprints. Okay, I've done the cleaning. I can now open my presents. Well, I'm so uh, overwhelmed, I don't know where to begin. So I think I'll sort of split them between what Santa's brought me and what I've been purchased from my viewers. Let's start with this box on top. All these are from Amazon, from my Amazon wish list. Do you know what? I'm that excited I forgot to get my little box cutter, so I'll just go and get that now. Okay, let's have a look what this is. I think this was the latest one to arrive. This came yesterday. I have an idea what's in all these, you see, but I don't know who's bought them all. Oh, it's been lovely gift wraps. Look at that. A lovely, lovely chocolate brown bag and another little felt ornament I can hang on my Christmas tree. 
Ooh, and an envelope. Keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before the envelope. Here's Daisy come to see because, oh, I think Daisy knows what this is, you know. Because Daisy likes balls and she also likes soft toys. Here's, oh, there's a little note on it. Let's have a look what it says. I love your YouTube channel and all the hard work you put into it. Merry Christmas from America from Shannon Lester. Thank you very much for this Shannon. I know what this is. Now I'm squeezing it. Do you do that kids? When you get a present, do you squeeze it and say, I know what that is. I used to just look at my presents as a kid and used to say to my mum and dad, that's a that, that's a so-and-so, that's a so-and-so. I was very rarely surprised at Christmas, but I know what this is, and Daisy knows, she can smell it. This is another Puggable hair tea, but this is a bigger one. This is bigger than the one I've got, the one I showed you in my Hetty video. So, I could do another lineup with the bigger Hetty. Look at that, look at that Daisy, it's Huggable Hetty, it's not for you. There we are, Whee! Huggable Hetty. Look Daisy. No, no, poor Hetty. I'll pop Hetty up there, no, on top of one of the boxes from Santa. Right, hang on, I'm going to turn down my music. It's a bit distracting. Just have that on, that's it. Right, no, you leave, leave Hetty alone, Daisy May. Right then, let's have a look. Um, I'll do another Amazon one. When this was delivered, look at the state of this box, look. See how dirty it is. And then I realised it's supposed to be, it's printed on. Because look, there's a picture of the Three Stooges, for some reason, on the, um, is one called Curly? I don't really know, we didn't really watch the Three Stooges in the UK, but is that the Three Stooges? Certainly looks like them, doesn't it? But it looks like they've been blown up, they've had an explosion. And it's made a right mess. What a shame. Anyway, I hope the item inside will be okay. Let's see who this is from. Ooh, Daisy. I don't think it'll be another soft toy, Daisy. What's it going to be? Ooh. Two useful and practical presents. I've got... Uh, some spot and stain remover for my Bissell, well it's actually the Bissell Spot Clean that I showed you on my channel a while back, that's actually my mum's. I've got an old Bissell Spot Bot that is in uh, need of replacement, but this will work in that as well. There is a new Bissell um, stain remover cleaner in the UK which I'm hoping to get. So that will be very good for removing Naughty Daisy's accident. So thank you, I don't know who's bought that yet, I haven't checked. And also, I wonder if they did it in a Hetty version, because then that would be another Hetty. But this one is a Henry. Isn't it cute? This is. It's amazing what you can buy with Henry. This is a Henry microfiber screen cleaner, suitable for computer smart f and smartphone screens. So I expect it to be all right for an iPad as well. Let's see it. Who's this made by? Oh, this is made by Paladone, who make a lot of the little Henry and Hetty toys. Paladone and Caston are the two main ones. Oh, now for any of you who were interested in my Henry and Hetty Christmas tree ornaments, but they weren't actually ornaments, I just put ribbon round, but look, that actually has a hook. So that will double, if you want to have Henry on your Christmas tree, that will double as a Christmas ornament because it's pre, it's got a, a hook on it already, so that's good. I'm not sure what that bit's for, but I better not remove that. So you can use Henry's bottom on your screens to give them a good clean. Isn't that, isn't that so cute? It looks better in real life than it did on Amazon. I saw it and thought, oh, I'll just add that. It's a little gift somebody might like to buy me. But you can't have it, Daisy. I'll put him back in his box for now. So that's yet another little Henry item. Put him next to Hetty. Right, who's been kind enough to buy me this? Oh, I it's from somebody called Douglas Skull. He's put, well, I did end up finding your wish list, so please accept these picked from your list by me and Small Minion. We hope you have a brilliant Christman, Christmas from Rusty and Family. Oh, look, Rusty. There was no need, Rusty. 
Right, and Rusty, the, for this Bissell stuff, blimey, your carpets will be cleaner than ever. Yes, they will. Thank you so much, Rusty. There was really no need to get me anything, but that's great. Thank you so much for my little microfiber screen cleaner and my very useful Bissell Spot Clean detergent. Right, okay, I think we'll open one more from Amazon. And then we'll, we'll open one from Santa, what do you say? I think we will. Oh, the recycling men are going to be busy <laughs> after Christmas, aren't they, with all these packages? Right, what's this? Oh, another practical but very useful thing for my wish list. And funnily enough, this is actually for the Hoover Pure Power that I got from Rusty. It didn't need new wheels, but I just, I'm, I'm refurbing it, you see. Although it's got black glamour caps this. I'll reuse the red ones that came with the machine after cleaning them up. So they, these are Hoover original back wheels for my pure power. They also fit the dust manager of course. So who's been kind enough to send me that? A gift note from Tyler Sheets. Hey Roger, I'm 15 and live in North Carolina and love your videos. Keep up the great work from Tyler Sheets. Thank you very much Tyler. Um, from North Carolina. I used to have a pen pal or two from Carolina. I think it was Raleigh in Carolina. Um, I used to write to somebody a long time ago. can't remember where the other chappy lived. But thank you so much. They will be very useful when I get round to refurbing my Hoover Pure Power for Mr. Rusty. That's great. Right, let's um, I'll make a pile of the ones I've unboxed over this side. I'll have to put Hetty up out of the way though, because Daisy will, Daisy will have her. Right, let's open one from Santa. Let's open this little one, shall we? What's it say? It's a gift tag. Open after the biggest parcel. Love, Santa. Right, okay. I, I best not go against Santa's wishes. Let's see what this one is at the front. Oh. Well, Santa said that at least one item that I can clean up the mess with, but as I said, I couldn't unbox amongst the mess. To Ibasiac, love Santa, kiss kiss. Oh, look, there's no mistaking this logo, is there, folks? That's a very famous logo. I knew that logo when I was a little wee boy. That's a Hoover logo, isn't it? Hoover. Flexi power. Flexible compact cleaning. It's a stick vac. A cordless stick back. Wow. I'm not going to take these out of the boxes because it'll the video will go on for far too long. So I will do separate videos unboxing these items. Wow, look at that. I wonder where he got it from. Oh he's put oh I don't like that. He's put sellotape on the actual box. So I have to be careful removing it. It's exciting, isn't it, Daisy? Right, let's put the wrap into one side. Whoops! Oh, there we go. Thanks, Santa, if you're watching. He does watch Ibasiac, I believe. Uh, here it is. So it's power. It's a 20.4 volt cycling technology. Tools for all your cleaning needs. Foldable handle for compact, easy to carry design. Easy to charge from carpet, oh sorry, easy to change from carpet to hard floor. It doesn't illustrate it on the box, but I think this comes with a little stand that you actually put the machine in to charge it, and the stand also holds, because it comes with a little hose and tubes, and I think it holds it all together. So that'll be fun unboxing that later, and doing a demo of that Hoover Flexi Power Vacuum from Santa. Right, let's put that behind me. That's all right, folks. I am wearing stuff under my dressing gown. This is the first video I've done, I think, with my dressing gown on. Let's open. Let's move. Bit, let's move Rusty's Bissell solution. Now this is something liquid, so I think this could be the other Bissell solution I asked for. So I've got double whammy, you see, to tackle Daisy's. Not, Daisy's not taking her eye. You can't see her, but she won't take her eyes off Hetty. <laughs> oh no! Is is it? Oh, it is, but it's, oh, it's, it's gift boxed. Oh, thank you very much. Let's see who's been kind enough to give me this. Oh, 
Here we are. Little note. Let's have a look. Oh, a gift note from Dorian John Berry. Hey, Roger and the doggies. Here's one of them. Hello. I found your page looking for a crosswave review and four months later I have 12 vacuums from junior slash senior to pure power and electrolux. I absolutely enjoy your effort. Never give up. Merry Christmas, Dorian Berry and dogs. Thank you, Dorian. Well, so you, you're quite a new person to my channel then. You only discovered me on the Bissell Crosswave. I've been around quite a while. I don't think you'll have got uh, caught up with all my videos. <laughs> That's a lovely box. Seems a shame to open it. Oh look, Amazon branding. Amazon should be giving me money, shouldn't they, for plugging their wish list. <laughs> right, let's, oh, I have to remove the ribbon. Well, I think it's going to be, I don't know if it is. It's some, it's some sort of a liquid. Oh, it is, look. Now this, this is the companion to the regular spot clean. This is the oxygen boost that you can add. Um, spot cleaning machine so this is for really stubborn stains so thank you I will have a lovely clean carpet with those two so thanks for that oxygen boost very good right I'll open another Amazon now this one came very early on and I'm quite excited by this I've wanted this for quite a long time but it's quite expensive for what it is so I've always held off but let's see Joe has been very kind to buy this. Now, I, I hope I get your name right, Joe. Joe Rosa Milia, is that? He's from the USA. Merry Christmas, Roger. Well deserved for all your hard work, making videos that brighten my day. Have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Your friend in the USA, Joe, Joe Rosa Milia. Thank you, Joe. Merry Christmas to you too. And thanks for the gift packaging and a, another little thing that I will keep, a little felt tree that will be going on my big Christmas tree. So I'll keep that always. Let's have a look. This is a book. And it's, I've been aware, as I said, I've been aware of this book for a long time, but I thought, oh, that's far too expensive. But I think it'll be very interesting, bedtime reading. Here it is. Oh, it's lovely. The Vacuum Cleaner, A History by Carol Gantz. Let's, I'll read the blurb on the back for you. House cleaning has been an innate human activity forever, but only since the early 19th century have mechanical devices replaced the physical labour performed mostly by women. Mechanical carpet sweepers were replaced by manual suction cleaners, which in turn were replaced by electric vacuum cleaners in the early 20th century. Uh, um, innovative inventors who improved vacuum cleaners as electricity became commonly available made these advances possible. Many early manufacturers failed, but some such as Bissell, Hoover, Eureka and others became household names as they complete, competed for global dominance with improved features, performance and appearance. This book describes the fascinating people who made this possible, as well as the economic, cultural and technological context of their time. From obscure beginnings 200 years ago, vacuum cleaners have become an integral part of modern household culture. Carol Gantz is a professional industrial designer with several dozen patents, a long-time Black & Decker design director and Carnegie, Carnegie Mellon University professor. He, oh, it's a man, I thought it was a, Carol, well, Carol, I suppose, is a man, can be a man's name with two L's, possibly. Carol is a man. <laughs> uh, Carol, uh, he is a past president of the Industrial Designers Society of America, IDSA. He lives on Seabrook Island in South Carolina. Wow, look at that. That's great. That will be very interesting to look through, and hopefully... I'll gain a bit more knowledge that I'll be able to impart to you. Obviously, this is an American book, but I think, hopefully, there might be some news about the UK, but all the pictures I'm so far seeing are American. Oh, there's some Dysons coming up, look. That's fantastic. So much, thank you so much to Joe. Look on the front there, look, that's one of the early, I think that was called Hoover Model Zero, that one. Uh, and obviously there's a Hoover, we call that Hoover Convertible 
in the UK, I think you called it Dilematic in the US. And there's an Airway, oh, and a Dyson DC-03 there. That is absolutely fantastic. I will really look forward to looking at that. When I have time, which hopefully I will have a bit more time now. Thank you so much. Right, well, oh. I'm gonna, I'll open this one. Is this, is this what Santa says is the biggest? This one. Love from Santa. What's this then, Daisy? What do you think this is? I'm hoping. Do you know It might be a vacuum. Do you think it is? I'm taking this hat off, you know. Oh, it's too hot. Put Santa's hat on. Oh, well, there's a hose. That looks, that looks like a vacuum hose to me. Oh, and here's a brand. Oh. Begins with S and ends in O. SIBO works for me. Ooh. Which SIBO? Well, it's obviously a canister. Oh, he's taken the label off. Good for you, Santa. Because Santa has to get stuff from Argos as well, you know. Because he's got the world to buy for. So he has to employ other people, like those good folks at the Argos shop in the UK, to send stuff out. Because, you know, that's how he gets to everyone, folks. He does use the internet to order things as well. It's an E-Series. It's a Sibo Airbelt E. Made in Germany. Oh, look, Daisy. It's another of those things that make a noise. She's not, but Molly's, oh, Molly is in the room. Oh. Well, he's wrapped it as well as he could, I suppose. It's a big box to wrap. It's always nice to unwrap stuff. Even if you could, you know, even if you see a box and you think, oh, I know what's inside. It's still fun, isn't it? I hope you've had fun unwrapping all your presents today. There we are. I'll just take that off. So, this is, what bottle is it? This is, oh, it's an E1. Oh, it's the red one. So it's the bottom of the line. Uh, cylinder vacuum cleaner, compact and lightweight, high performance 700 watt motor, triple microfilter system, ultra bag with three layer microfiber construction, air belt soft bumper slash exhaust system, electronic power control, SIBO combi, durable, maneuverable, and easy to use, free moving with three casters, machine colors, red, silver, Anti-allergy, hospital grade, S-class filtration. Wow, well, I can't wait to get that unboxed and demoed. It's not the one I really want. I'm after, of course, I want the E3 Premium the, with the power head. Obviously, this is what it's red inside the machine. The E3 Premium has, is white. But still, it's a nice introduction from Santa to the Airbelt E-Series. Thanks, Santa, if you're watching. Okay, let's put that to one side. Got three more. Just, oh, hang on. I can open this now. I have a feeling now, open after the biggest parcel, it says, Love Santa. I think I know what that is. I think that's bags, don't you? Let's just rip it open. We haven't time. Oh, and <laughs> some bags for it. Eight ultra bags. And he's also provided me with some lime fragranced SIBO Fresh capsules. Thanks Santa, pop that on the box. Right then, so one more left from Santa and three from my wish list. Let's do two from the wish list and then we'll do Santa's and then the final one from the wish list. I'm lucky, thank you so much for everything. What's this? Oh, Ooh, two presents. Nice gift box again. Now this, although it's not as illustrated, <laughs> because I wanted this for the Pure Power I got from Rusty because it didn't have a dusting brush, but this one, it's got a red, red brush, but that's okay, it will fit. Actually, no, it might, I might use it because the red will go with the cleaner, but if I don't, I've got an original Pure Power dusting brush on another vacuum that my mum uses, so I'll just swap it over. Whatever happens, I'll have a, a, a dusting brush. So thank you for that. That's the dusting brush. I've still got to get a 
the oil stair cleaning nozzle and the extension wand to complete the uh, tools for the uh, Pure Power Auto Sense. So thank you for that, whoever. I'll, I'll know who it is in a minute. Oh, just wanted to get you, Molly and Daisy. Oh, Daisy, this is for you as well. Here, Daisy, do you want to sniff this? Look, this is for you. Come here. Molly, it's a present. Come here. Daisy, that's for you as well, look. This is from Emma. Molly, here. She thinks it's something to eat. It's a bit cruel. Look at this, Molly. This is from Emma. Are you interested in this? Yes? No. Anyway. Just wanted to get you, Molly and Daisy, a gift for Christmas. Loving your videos. Look forward to seeing them. Keep up the good work. Love, Emma. Thank you, Emma. Right. Oops, just need to take this off. What's this? I can't remember. Is that going to come off that ribbon? Oh, they've, they've put it on tight. This ribbon, I'm going to have to cut into that, I think. Or do I? Yes, I do, to get into the box. Sorry, I have to cut the ribbon. We name this parcel... <laughs> Emma's gift. God bless her and all who sail in her. So what is it? Honestly, it's lo it's lovely gift wrap. Oh dear, look at that. For some, it's for some Hoover Sensotronic, I think. Bags. That's a smaller box than I was expecting. There we are. This is H8 Sensotronic bags. I've never shown it on my channel yet. I've had it probably two years or more. I've got a brand new in the box. It's not called Sensotronic. I think it's called Electronic. But it's Sensotronic based. Anyway, it takes eight H8 bags and I needed some. So thank you, Emma, for my Sensotronic bags. I will be showing that Sensotronic sometime next year, I promise. Right, so that's that. Let's open another Amazon one, shall we? Which one? Oh, this one. There's my... Uh... I've got a cold, isn't it? Uh, you know, I've been so busy running up to Christmas, making all the advent videos and working, that yesterday I started getting a sore throat and now I've got a very thick head and that's nothing to do with having any alcohol, I can assure you. Ooh! Another vacuum. A Vax Gator. Now, somebody will be happy about this because they asked me, one of my viewers said, can you test the Vax Gator? So I said, oh, I'll put it on my wish list. Uh, somebody's bought it for me. So this, apparently, in Amazon, is the best-selling handheld rechargeable vacuum on Amazon. And it has quite good reviews, so that'll be good. Vax, 10.8 volt Gator, 15 minutes runtime, lightweight, easy to empty, cleans hard to reach places. Now, it's got a built-in uh, nozzle that you pull out. Hopefully, this will be better than the Hoover Click I demoed a long time ago, it seems, on my channel. Well, thank you so much. Let's see who I'm thanking. Who am I going to thank? Oh! No, don't say I don't... I need to be able to thank someone. Oh, don't say it's... Oh, it's... Oh, don't say it's fallen out. Perhaps it's anonymous. Let me just... Oh, dear. Um, it's nothing. I'm sorry, I can't thank. Thank you, whoever. I'm sorry, but if there was a slip in here, I did open something and it had a slip in, but it was under one of these flaps. But there's nothing here. But there is big, oh, there's a big gap, look. It might have slipped out. So, I'm, s I don't think, I'm so sorry. You know who you are. No, I can't find it. I'm sorry. It won't be in this box. If, it, if I come across it, I'll thank you personally. But thank you to whoever sent me the Vax Gator. I bet you're gutted that I haven't mentioned you. I, well, you'll have to message me. But thing is, I might get messages from a lot of people saying, I bought you that, I bought you that. So I don't know how you'd prove you bought it. But thank you so much, whoever bought me this Vax Gator. Because I don't know for my wish list who bought it, you see, unless they say... Um, it doesn't actually say on my Amazon account. But thank you, anyway, thank you for the Vax Gator. 
Right, finally, we will open, well, this is the last one from Santi, and then the last Amazon box. Oh, and then I've got to clear all this mess up. Oh, well, that's a familiar colour. I've just opened a, a box with that orange. So what brand do you think this is? Well, it's another cordless. I'm having a cordless Christmas this year. That's uh, three, three cordless vacuums. Two cordless sticks and a cordless handheld. Oh, it's one of these. I've wanted one of these for ages. These have been out a long time. In fact, this was one of the early sort of cordless cleaners before they became really popular. This is a Vax Life. They used to call it Vax Life Unplugged. And they also did a handheld that matched and used the same uh, lithium iron battery that plugs into the front. Ooh, that's great. So they're really, really popular, aren't they now? Um, they are certainly in the UK. I'm not sure about America, but there's a lot. I mean, cordless vacuums like this were few and far between, but now you can't move for them. Because people are just wanting something lightweight to, to whip around. So why buy me cordless design for a quicker, convenient clean, lightweight to carry, powered brush bar, low profile floor tool for cleaning under furniture, lithium ion battery system for longer lasting suction, two year guarantee. You'll know this if you live in the USA or possibly Canada. Uh, this is under the Hoover brand as well. Uh, under, I think it's the Hoover Lynx, but it'll be exactly the same machine more or less because Hoover, of course, Hoover USA and Vax UK are owned by TTI Floor Care, so we get the same machines. Not all, not all the same, but we get very, you know, they share some of the models. This is model anyway. It's model U eighty five LFB. So thanks, Santi, for that. Right, nearly done. Last thing to open. So again, I'm so sorry if you sent me this, and I didn't mention you, that matches nicely. Get in touch, and I'll thank you. Hopefully I won't get a, a load of people. Don't get in touch if you didn't buy it, because they won't be very pleased if I find out you didn't, and the real person that bought it, anyway. Right, oh, lovely, lovely gift wrap, look. I thought there's only one thing in here. I know, I know what this is. Oh, it's a, oh, I love that colour. That's more of a dark chocolate. Isn't that lovely? It's festive yet not. You know what I mean? It's, it's nice. And again, I've got something I can put on my tree, a little star. I know what this is from the weight of it, but it's another practical thing, but I do need it. I've used up most of uh, what I had. Let's see who's been kind enough to send this. Oh, <laughs> Roger. Can never have too much SIBO Duo P powder, you're right there. Thanks for all the laughs and entertainment in 2016. Merry Christmas to Roger, Daisy, Molly and your partner. Ah, now I've just realised... I don't know if there was an envelope. This is an envelope. Was this from the Vax box? Oh no, this was, this, this was in the box from Emma. I don't think. Anyway, I'll double check before I finish this video. I'll get through all the mess and see if there's an envelope. Because in here, there's a gift envelope. But I don't know if this came... They might not have gift wrapped it, you see. Well, it wasn't gift wrapped, but they may not have put a note. They might not have done the note, you see. It's, you know, that's a shame. Anyway, so I don't know who this, this is from. Um, right, sorry about that. Now, where was I? Here we are. So, Roger, yes. So I don't know who this is from yet, but hopefully... Open the envelope, and the winner is... Oh, it's Shrink David. <laughs> the winner is Shrink David. Roger can never have to... I've read that. Um, and there's another note. So thank you, David. And don't worry, I'm only joking. David was going to get me something else. But I'm not, I'm not disappointed. And you don't really have to. It would be nice, but... I might buy it before you do, David, so uh, I'll tell you if I bought it before. But don't, you know, you don't have to, really. So this is some SIBO Duo P powder. And another lovely big, look, just right size for a canister vacuum. 
So this is a five pack bag box of duo powder. I used a lot of it at my mum's when I did that demo for my advent uh, video. And I've left, I've left the machine at my mum's actually, and I might actually do um, the upstairs carpets over Christmas if I get bored, because I'm going to my mum's later today. So there we go. SIBO Duo P powder. Thank you very much, David. Shrimp David. And, oh, I'm getting pins and needles in my feet. Here's another little gift bag. While I know this isn't much, I am sure you will get use out of both. Merry Christmas, David. Doesn't matter, you know, it's the thought that counts. For everyone who's bought me something, it doesn't matter well, how much you spent, it's the thought. Oh no, that's good. It's another SIBO gift. So I've, I've done well for SIBO, I've done well for Vax as well, and Hoover stuff. This is a large dusting brush that I think I got it for. Can't recall which one I got it. Well, it'll go for any SIBO upright. Well, you can use it on any SIBO. Um, now, did I get, oh, it's a, is that front? Oh wait, anyway, that clips to the machine itself, the handle. But this is a larger dusting brush, which I prefer to the smaller ones, and it's adjustable. Like that, you see? So that will be good. That's I can use that actually. That's good to be honest, because I can. That will actually work with the air belt that I've just opened. It won't store on board, but it will fit that machine. So that'd be good. It's a nice, nice big dusting brush with soft, long brushes. Thanks, thanks, David, for that. Okay, I'm just going to clear the decks a bit, summarise the video, show you everything all together. See if I can find if, who's bought the Vax Gator. And um, I'll wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So let's just pop that in. I'm just going to have to do a silly walk in a minute off camera because I can't feel my feet or half of my legs because I've been kneeling for too long. Well, what a lot. <laughs> what a lot I've got. Daisy is poised here, ready <laughs> to get Huggable Hetty. So, thanks to Santa for my Vax Life, my SIBO air belt, and my Hoover Flexi Power, plus the bags and the air fresheners. Thanks to Anonymous for the Vax Gator. I've been through all my unpackings. I can't find a, pack, a packing slip or anything. So, if it was in there, it's fallen out of the box. Thank you for that. Thank you to David for the Duo P powder and the duo, uh, the dusting brush for the X series. Thanks to Joe for the vacuum book. Thanks to Emma for the Hoover bags. Oh, what else did Emma buy me? Was it the um, Doobry? Shannon, anyway, Shannon. Oh heck, I've forgotten what everyone's bought me. <laughs> Dear me, Emma Maudsley, that's your surname. Emma bought me the dusting brush and the bags. So thank you for those, Emma. And Shannon Lester got me the Huggable Hetty from America. Thank you, Shannon. So Rusty bought me the Hetty Mike, Henry, Henry microfiber screen cleaner and some of uh, the spot clean. And was it Dorian bought me the Oxygen Boost? I think Dorian bought me the Oxy, Oxygen Boost. I'm sure he did. So I think that's it. So here's another envelope. I've looked. So I'm going. I'm going through all these envelopes, seeing if I can find out who bought me the Vax, but I can't. So once again, thank you so much. Well, Merry Christmas to you and a very peaceful and happy 2014. Oh, I just saw this cushion. It's lovely, isn't it? I'll pop it over here. Look behind me. <laughs> Other cushions are available. So. Enjoy yourself, have a peaceful and safe Christmas, whatever you're doing. I've got a little bit of a runny nose. I hope I don't develop a full-blown cold over Christmas, but I'm sure I'll still have a rest, a nice rest. I think I deserve one, to be honest. So I'm overwhelmed by your generosity. Thanks to everyone this year who's donated either a gift from my wish list or something into my PayPal Me account. Thanks, of course, to uh, Patrick for your recent donation that I'll be using next year 
to go for a lovely luncheon at Betty's Tea Room in Ilkley or possibly Harrogate or possibly York, I'm not sure which one. I think it might be the Ilkley one, but um, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to that in the new year. And also please look forward to lots of new videos, obviously everything here will feature at some point and there's a huge amount of <laughs> different vacuums you haven't seen that I will be reviewing, demonstrating and unboxing on my channel. So best wishes to all of you, thanks for watching, thanks so much for everything you've sent me, I am grateful. So until the next video, I'll see you very soon, bye for now.